Expressions might be one of the hardest things to learn inside of After Effects because it's literally its own language. But in this video, I want to talk about the top five expressions that you can use in pretty much every single project you're working in. And the best part about it, it's very easy to use these. So if you're just starting out After Effects, you're going to be able to apply these. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Hope everyone is doing excellent today. So these five expressions are unique enough to where you can actually, you know, apply these to active projects. And they're not the basic time and wiggle expressions that you see in every single tutorial. So it's gonna be a lot of fun this one. Hopefully you're gonna learn a handful of new concepts. So without wasting more time, we're gonna jump in and we're gonna get started. In our first expression, we're gonna create a count up expression with a number here or even a count down. So really easy to do this. All right, so if you wanna do a count up or count down, the first thing you should do is type out the number zero in your timeline here. And what we'll do is go to effect expression controls and we're gonna add a slider control. So it does involve the effect, but this allows you to easily use the expression. So what we're gonna do is open up our text layer and you'll see source text. And we're gonna all click the stopwatch. And what we're gonna do is grab the pick whip here and we're gonna parent this to the slider up here in the effects controls. And you'll get this expression here. All right, then what we wanna do is type in period or dot and we'll type in value dot or period to fixed and that's a capital F. And what we'll do is we'll do open parenthesis zero and close parenthesis, just like this. So your expression should look just like this and click off of it. So now this gives us the option to add a keyframe for slider control. We can move forward in our timeline and we can increase the slider up to any number that we want. And what's great about using keyframes is that, you know, we can come here to the keyframes and make them easy. Ease keyframes by hitting F9, we come here to the graph editor and we can really start customizing the animation really quick without having to type out any expressions there. So now, Boom, that looks really awesome. But what happens if you want to add like, you know, maybe a dollar symbol or something, you know, you want to count up all that money you're making of After Effects. Well, what you can do is you come here to the first letter here and you type in the dollar symbol, which I did right here in the timeline. You can't see it because we already have the expression. But what we'll do is go back to our expression. We'll come here to the beginning. And all we're gonna do is add quotations, add whatever symbol or letter you put in there. In our case, it's the money symbol. And we'll add the quotations there. And then all we're gonna do is hit space add a plus, add another space. And then we'll click off of this, boom. Now we have the dollar symbol there or any other symbol that you want. So boom, you're making bank with After Effects. So next up on our list is posterized time expression. And think of this as a stop motion effect that you wanna to add to your animation because you know, who wants to take a camera and do stop motion when you can just type in something so simple and create a stop motion effect called posterized time. So we have this background here and we wanna animate the squares here. So what we can do is find the parameters and this expression works for pretty much any type of animation. So don't just be bound to what I'm doing here. So I want to animate these squares. What I'm going to do is come here to say rotation. And what I'm going to do is type in posterize time is right there. So it should look just like that capital T. And what we can do is put in a low number. I'll do like 10. And then we'll hit enter on our keyboard, add another line. And we'll type in time, asterisk, and then any you know sort of number that you want. You know, that will be the animation speed. And boom, what's going to happen is you're going to have this stop motion effect here. If we just say have the time expression it's going to be way more smooth so by adding posterized time you're getting the jumpy stop motion feel of whatever you're putting this onto so a really cool expression if you want to add some lag into your animations just like playing games online you're just always lagging and before we move further into our tutorial i want to give a huge shout out to our motion graphics starter pack extension right here for after effects all right, so this is our Motion Graphics Starter Pack extension with 650 templates. We have motion graphics in here, animated background templates, social media animations, shape transitions, and of course, titles. And how this works is we can come through here, preview anything that we want to apply before we apply it. And when we find a template that we want, we just click on apply. And it automatically applies a full template into your current After Effects project. And we go into this template and for example, change out our titles really quick. And we have our control layer here, which allows us to make changes to adjust the titles and colors to everything to fit perfectly, however we see fit. And if we want, we can easily change the colors of everything. And it automatically updates in our main composition. And we can take this even further with our accent motion graphics. We have over 160 of these in this pack. And we come here to clusters, for example, and we'll apply a cluster. So now with a few clicks of a button, we now have a full title animation here, along with some accent graphics that help spruce up our composition and whatever we're working on. So a lot of options just in this one pack. And we have a handful of other packs that allow you to switch over to them very easily. So you can pick up more titles, animated backgrounds, 
um, and more off our website. So if you're looking to save a tremendous amount of time while producing awesome work for your clients, I will drop our Motion Graph Starter Pack along for other packs in the description below. If you do pick up anything off our website, you will be supporting our channel, so thank you very much. So the third expression on our list is really awesome because one, I like to use this for a 3D camera shake where you control all three, you know, X, Y, and Z axes, but also this can be used to separate, you know, two different axes for like the wiggle expression. So really cool if you want to create, you know, really dynamic camera shake. So we have our final composition here and I want to add a 3D camera shake to this. What we can do is make this a 3D layer and we can hit P on our keyboard for position and we'll all click the stopwatch. Of course, what else was I going to do? And I want to be able to control each of these values individually because I could just type in the wiggle expression, but you know, if we did that, it wouldn't look good. So what we're going to do is we're going to type in X equals wiggle, open parenthesis, one comma 100, close parenthesis, and we'll come here and we'll do open bracket and we'll do zero, close bracket, and we'll move over to the end here and we'll do the semicolon. Okay. Then what we can do is we can just copy the current expression that we have here, hit enter, come here and change the X to Y and change the number, you know, zero here to one. Okay, then we do it one more time and paste that in there and we'll change the last, you know, letter there to Z and the zero to two. So pretty clean and simple. However, we're not done yet. What we'll do is we'll hit enter twice. We'll be on line five here and we'll do open bracket X comma Y comma Z close bracket just like that. And now you'll have a camera shake in all three dimensions. However, since we have this separated, we can control each individual value. So the first number here in our sequence, we have two numbers here. The first number is all about how many wiggles per second, you know, camera shakes per second, if you will. And the second number is the value, how great it's going to be. So what we can do is come here to like the Z axis and we do like 0.5 and we do like maybe 20 and we can change the Y axis. So you really have full control over how much, you know, shake that you want. And you know, it's how you can split all three dimensions together. And if you're using this for a 3D camera shake, one thing you'll notice with your composition is you'll get this black space. What you can do to fix this, go to effect, stylize and grab motion tile and check on mirror edges, increase the output height and the width. And boom, you can duplicate your composition. It's very subtle, so depends on you know what you're working with, how good that's gonna you know turn out. And now we have a very controlled dynamic 3D camera shake, and you're able to separate all the dimensions together. You know, you are the creator of the three-dimensional world. All right, so for our fourth expression, it's an extremely helpful expression. It might not be expression that you're using every project, but simply this allows you to turn you know, your titles and graphics into templates very easily. So if I want to change this title, for example, you know, for example, you see how the graphics update as my word gets typed out. So this is what this expression allows you to do. It allows you to update the graphics as you type in your title. So if you're working on, let's say, lower thirds or you know, title projects where you need to render out multiple variations, you can update your titles without actually having to adjust the graphics, which can save you a tremendous amount of time. So this, how this works is very simple. For example, we can come here and grab the rectangle tool and I can come here and draw out a box around our title. We can bring it underneath the title layer, fine. And what I'm gonna do is come here to rectangle one, go to rectangle path one, and I'm gonna all click the stopwatch for size. All right, and what I'm gonna do is type in S equals, grab the pick whip and parent it to the text layer, just like that. And boom, you get this. We'll go ahead and add the semicolon and then we'll hit enter our keyboard and we'll type in W equals S dot or period. And we'll type in source. You'll see source react at time. Go ahead and bring that in there. And then we'll keep those parentheses and then we'll hit dot on keyboard for period. And we'll type in width and you get that. And then to the semicolon and then we'll do H equals S, which is for height, obviously. And we'll do dot again and we'll do the source react one more time. So there it is, source react at time. And this time we'll do dot height. Boom. And of course, once again, semicolons. And we'll do two enters here. And we'll do open bracket, W, comma, H, close bracket. All right, boom. What's going to happen is this, you know, the shape layer is going to take the size of the box, make sure everything is, you know, aligned correctly. And boom, it is. And you see now if we come here and change out our, our word or whatever, the box will update very easily. However, you see the box takes the exact size of the word. What you want to do is come here to add and just add a quick offset paths and you'll open up offset paths here and you can increase the amount. And actually you can already see it's already working. Boom. 
So once again, everything will update, you know, no matter, you know, how many letters are in your word. So you can take those graphics and you can expand into larger templates. As you can see here, boom, everything kind of updates. And as you can see, I can use this expression for other elements um, and it'll update automatically. So a really cool technique if you're you know, building out a template. All right, so for our last expression, I was a little bit hesitant about putting this in this video because I use this expression in pretty much all my videos. So if you watch my videos, you know I use this, but this expression list would not be complete without the loop out expression. And what's happening here, you see all these lines going across our composition and being repeated. Now there isn't individual layers. I'm gonna show you how this works. So for example, let's say you go ahead and you create a line and you want this to move, you know, across your entire composition. So first of all, what you would do is you would hit P on keyboard for position and you would add a keyframe and say we move this off frame here and we'll move forward in time maybe by a second or so and we'll have this go all the way across our composition so boom you have one straight up animation and it's not going to repeat but what if i want it to repeat and come out to the other side all i have to do is alt click the stopwatch and i'm going to type in loop out capital o open and close parenthesis just like that and then boom there's our line going across the composition and it's going to repeat on doing this animation forever however we can amend this expression by a little bit. We can come here to the parentheses and do quotations and you'll see the expression ping pong. And what's going to happen this time around is that it's going to go through that animation and back around. So definitely my favorite expression right here for after effects. And you're able to create so many different things with this one expression. So be sure to definitely see how you can implement this into your work. So that is my tutorial on my top five expressions right here for After Effects. Let me know down in the comments below if, you know, what your favorite expressions are or if I missed any that you think should be on this list. So hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new to our channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are below and always be creating.